fan, not the Santa dude. You yeah, trying? Santa. Nicky, it was Dominican. Yeah, I just can't remember his name. Yeah. Name, Last thing. Uh All right, y'all. So we got us one. The hard hidden Edwin De Los Santos is scheduled to fight the Wizard himself, Shakur Stevenson, on November 16th. So y'all be sure to tune in. I want to get my prediction right now. Shakur Stevenson by a TKO or a 12 round domination. Because we all know what Shakur do. Dominate. Over the years, I became more and more of a fan for this guy. This guy is a phenomenal boxer, phenomenal footwork, and even though he's not a switch hitter like his brother Terrence Crawford, he knows how to use the ring so nothing affects him anyways. I've been saying it and I'm standing on it. Nobody is about to beat Shakur, nobody. But I can tell you two people that's tuning in real close. Javante Tank Davis and number two, Devin Haney. See Tank, Tank gonna be watching this fight like a hawk. Make that two hawks watching a big ass fish swimming too close to the top of the surface. You feel me? He wanna know if Shakur can take this type of power. He wanna know what Shakur is gonna do in this situation. And depending on that, we'll know if Tank is about to take the fight with him. Devin on the other hand, Devin is watching. And my guess, he hoping for a loss. If he don't pull off the victory with Regis, then he'll have to come back down. And if Shakur win the belt, against De Los Santos, then you guess what's coming next. Guess the fight that Devin has to take. Now De Los Santos, he is no bum. He got power, grit, skill, speed. And that's the, the real reason I want the fight to happen. So everybody who got something to say about Shakur will have to be quiet. And not only do he have all of those qualities, this boy got heart. He pulled up the Newark, like, what's up? I'm in your house, Shakur. Nah, I know y'all heard that. That boy said, I'm in your house, Shakur. <laughs> I'm in your house, Shakur. <laughs> That's the type of spirit I need to see in boxing. You know what I'm saying? And he's second to none in the way he say motherfucker. Um. No, November 16, surprise Shakur Stevens. I'm the ring and your house, my house. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Even Shakur Stevenson's best friend, Richardson Hitchens, said the fight was a 50 50 after sparring both fighters. I'll let you hear that in this interview. Do you lean towards and on top of it? What you think, what you see, pay by play, round by round in that fight? He is cracking. He is a softball. I think that's a dangerous fight for Shakur. I think it's a 50-50 fight. Mm. Um, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I think that uh, De La Santos, you know, he's punching. He's um, he's punching very, very hard. And he's skillful. I've been in the ring with him. Very skillful. Uh, great reaction. I think that this is the toughest guy should call for. He's no Jamal Heron. He's no um, I don't uh, Oscar Valdez. Stylistically, he, he, he's gonna be able to uh, he's gonna be able to you know give give bring uh, Shakur, bring out the next level of Shakur. So I'm asking you, the fight fans that's been tuning in, because we all know without the fight fans, there will be no boxing. Who's gonna win this fight is it the wizard with his amazing footwork his capabilities timing or or is it the hard hit motherfucker that's trying to prove to the world and that's been calling Shakur out to show us that he got what it take to stop him let me know in the comment section I check them all OB